the best way to know what your vitamin D levels is to get your blood tested. You know, a simple blood test can tell you if you're optimal, if you're deficient, if you're too high. So it's really, really important. It's a simple blood test. Um, and, you know, at Inside Tracker, we do recommend keeping your levels above 32 um, for optimal health, right? So anything below that can actually, you know, like we said, it can be detrimental to your immune system. It can, you know, affect some of those other, other areas, including something we didn't talk about um, is sleep. And we can talk about that more too. But um, making sure you have optimal vitamin D levels will be really important to your overall health. So checking in your vitamin D via blood test is the first, kind of the first step, right? Just you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> exactly. And then, then you can see whether taking a supplement is, um, you know, is right for you. And vitamin D can be easily corrected with a supplement to maintain optimal levels. So let's say you got a blood test and your levels were optimal. The one of the best ways to maintain those optimal levels is to get adequate sunshine, right? So the sunshine vitamin, we want to make sure we're getting a lot of um, sunshine on a daily basis. But the problem with that is a lot of things can affect um, our uh, maintaining those vitamin D, uh, maintaining those vitamin D levels. So, for example, um, if you are someone who wears a lot of sunblock, which you know is absolutely fine to do, you want to protect yourself from cancer. But sunblock does affect your ability to synthesize vitamin D and absorb it from the sun. And it could be just in your moisturizer too, right? Like a light, a light exactly. SPF. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, to absorb the correct amount from the sun, you want to be out in the sun for at least 20 minutes. Um, and you want to receive that vitamin D, that sunlight um, that is not tainted, right? So no, no sunscreen, no shirts, right? So if you wear a long sleeve shirt, if you're fully covered, you're not going to absorb you're not going to really get that sunshine. You're not going to be able to absorb that vitamin D. We need to be exposed to the sun. You don't need to just be in the sun. Right? Exactly. Expose and be in the sun for a little bit of time. So even though, yes, like the best way to get vitamin D is from sunlight, it's not always the easiest way, right? So there's a lot of different factors. And plus, like now that it's turning into summer, it'll be a little bit easier. But again, you just have to worry about those other things we just mentioned. But during the winter months, um, during the fall months, it's actually it can be pretty hard to get um, this that that vitamin D production because the UV rays from the sun are a lot weaker. Depending on where you live, of course, if you're by the equator, it might be okay. But if you know you're in Boston, like we are, it's sunlight is not going to be um, an adequate way to maintain your vitamin D levels.